I wanted to do something that nobody had ever done before. And that started with a dream and a goal. I wanted to be the greatest of all time. I went five straight years without missing a single day of workout, 365 days a year. Every single day I was going to work. There are days you're not going to want to do it, sure. I mean, everybody has those days. But it's what you do on those days that help you move forward. I'm living a dream. What is the vision for your life? What are the ideas and the dreams for your life? What are you supposed to be doing? Who are you? What are your gifts and talents? What is your ultimate destiny and your goal? If you can see it here, and you have the courage enough to speak it, it will happen. I'm an up and coming fighter, and without a doubt, you will see me on the UFC in the in near future. Without a doubt. The first thing is to be honest with yourself. You can never have an impact on society if you have not changed yourself. You can go way beyond ordinary. You can go way beyond just being average. All of us are extraordinary. We just have to come to believe it. Just, uh, just don't ever give up. You know, good is never going to be good enough. Go out and do your best. Don't wait for someone else to do it for you. Go out and make it happen yourself. Be in control of your own destiny. That most people allow their fear of failure, 80%, allow their fear of failure to outweigh their desire to succeed. When you're willing to fail again and again and again, when you make up your mind to become unstoppable, when you make up your mind to become a no matter what person, then that will then give birth to a part of yourself that you don't know right now. Term, what we'd like to do is to establish a city on Mars um, and, and help make um, humanity a multi-planet species and a true space bearing civilization. That's the ultimate goal. When you had that third failure in a row, did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. Uh, the odds of me coming into the rocket business, not knowing anything about rockets, not having ever built anything, I mean, um, I would have to be insane if I thought the odds were in my favor. Why even begin? Uh, when, when something is important enough, you do it even though the odds are not in your favor. That that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. See, sometimes we can't say, I can do that. But what we can say, that it's possible that I can have my dream. My mother got pregnant with me at 17 years old. My grandma had 14 kids in like a two, three bedroom house on the south side of Chicago. Like, I didn't become a PhD because my father got a PhD and my grandfather got a PhD. I'm the first one in my family with a PhD. Like, this was birthed from struggle. You know my story. You can get anywhere you want from grinding. Every single person doubted me. Every single fighter doubted me. Doubt me now. When so. critics say you can't do this, your answer to them is, we've done it. Someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. The day that you allow the opinions of the outside world to dictate the way you feel about yourself, it is the beginning of the end of you living a blessed and self-loving, secure life. When I say see it, I mean before it even happens. That's what the greats do. Like, they see it before it happens, and then they actually get up every day and create it. I saw it so clearly, I swear to God, I saw it so clearly, so consistently, until it just, until it's here in reality. When you see the invisible, you're able to do the impossible. I'll say it again, only those that can see the invisible can do the impossible. Musk bet the company on another flight. We have liftoff. This time around, everything worked. Perfect. Don't stop! Don't stop! Don't stop running toward your dream! 